You know, for a while now, I've been getting tired of having to stress about whether my videos are fast enough, whether I'm wasting too much time on them, and ultimately, whether my videos tend to lose people's attention and make them click off of them. And that's the thing that most YouTubers have to stress about in this day and age because people's attention spans are so bad that they skip music on Spotify in the first six seconds of a song playing or something crazy like that. There was a survey done on that, I don't remember the exact number but it was something crazy along the lines of six seconds. I'm not doing this video to bash TikTok like every single YouTuber that doesn't like the TikTok culture has done and I'm saying that because I think the platform is pretty cool, you can do some cool stuff on TikTok but what I don't like about the platform is what people gravitate towards on the app and what I mean by that is that is that people want to click on a video watch a haha -ha xd funny meme and then three seconds later just swipe to the next one get more dopamine get more instant gratification which is not that healthy because quite obviously people's attention spans are suffering really bad because of these apps and this culture this behavior has become so popular that even youtube is capitalizing on this with youtube shorts and with the new changes to the algorithm which make it so that shorter videos are promoted more than longer ones and you know i'm kind of tired the thinking that I have to become something that YouTube is gonna want to promote, something that's as profitable as possible for YouTube. I'm at the point where I just wanna do me, I just wanna be myself, I just wanna make what I wanna make, what I feel like is the highest quality content that I want my YouTube channel to have on it. Because at the end of the day, if you apply all of the standard generic YouTuber stuff on your videos, like uh, the flash editing, the fast editing, the sound effects, big flash animations, loud ass sounds, and loud equals funny type of humor, then you're getting rid of the personality behind the channel. So if you get rid of the personality, then what are you left with really? I'ma say that you get left with a YouTube channel that is a copied and pasted version of another YouTube channel that already exists, with a simple difference that one of them has more subscribers than the other one, and one of them gets more views than the other one. And so if you're a small YouTuber trying to do all the generic YouTube stuff, I feel like that will never actually pay off because there definitely is another channel on this site that does the same stuff as you and it already has more success than you so why would people start watching you they already have that channel to watch and so yeah that's my thoughts behind this topic that's why I think that stressing over this stuff and trying to make my videos more quote-unquote correct is not actually the move and um, I think that right now I'm actually on the right path. I guess that's gonna show in the next few years, but success is lying around the corner for my channel. I just have to work for it which is what I'm gonna do. I haven't been uploading that much in the past few weeks because I just didn't feel like playing Rocket League at all. I don't really like the game anymore, so I didn't feel like making any of the video ideas that I had left. But as I said, I think I'm on the right path right now, so I'm gonna create what I think belongs in my channel. As for the views that I'm inevitably gonna lose, I'm not really stressing over that because I'm trying to attract viewers who actually wanna watch what I make, and obviously I'm not trying to become a Rocket League channel. I want my channel to be my channel not another Iraq League channel after all my views have been really bad nowadays because I just can't bring myself to make Iraq League videos consistently and upload on a schedule so I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video but in case I do let me say this don't let the title fool you because I'm not trying to spread negativity I want the main focus of this video to be how TikTok has ruined YouTube and it's never gonna be the same or anything like that let me tell you that I still to this day find people on this side who tend to prosper by doing whatever they feel like doing even though it may not be the wave and people might not be gravitating towards doing this type of stuff you can still become successful on this side by being yourself and doing you doing whatever you feel like doing as long as there are people who vibe with your content so don't let any of the current waves any of the current trends make you feel like you can make it that's what I've learned in the past few weeks and that is the mindset that I'm working on right now anyways I got some work to do school's been kind of rough and it's definitely gonna keep on being just that for the rest of the year but anyways I'm gonna holla at you in the next video and remember this is most definitely not the end of my career this is just the beginning